first thing you want to be able to subdivide the beat on the metronome. So let's go back to that. I'm gonna make it to just good old zero. Okay. So you take a scale. I'm actually gonna go to clean for a second. That's not clean. That's clean. So everyone needs to be able to take a scale and go through quarter notes. Some weird effect on there. Okay, does that make sense? A quarter note is one note per beat. Um, anyone who wants to get good at their playing, learn to read music. I know it's the most boring, uh, most boring, tedious thing, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be no anywhere close to where I'm at now if I could read music. Okay, and I can learn songs like 100, 100 times faster and much more accurate. Anyways, so then after you can do one note per beat, do two per beat. Four per beat. All those different variations on playing with a metronome. Okay, it's not just playing on every single beat, but you got to mix it up quite a bit. Then you have triplets. Uh, sixteenth note triplets. Uh, quarter note triplets, which is a lot of fun. different variations uh, try doing a swing you know okay you know want to be able to play that on that on that beat does that make sense that just just going through that all the different variations you can with the scale is going to get a lot done with your chops the other thing that a lot of my students you know they'll get to a certain <laughs> point in the song and then they've hit a wall and they can't get any further so there's a couple things you can do to break through it. The one thing that I think you were doing is you start a metronome, and let's say you're working at something. Um, I'll use what I did today, for example. It's a pain in the neck. Okay. So. So working on that. Okay. One thing you can do is, of course, slow it down and don't speed it up until. It's uh, perfect, and then once it's perfect, bump it up to the next beat, and that's perfect there, bump it up to the next beat. But a lot of people get stuck, and they don't force themselves soon enough. You know what I mean, it doesn't have to be like 100, like in 50% perfect, it needs to be really close, and then you can start forcing it up. You still want to come back and get it perfect, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try to push yourself faster on the metronome. That's really important to push yourself. So, uh, one way you can do it is that's kind of, that was a little bit, definitely more uncomfortable on a clean sound, um, is go from half speed to full speed. And this is a very old technique they would use on classical guitar. To build their raschiato technique. So you take that kind of idea, okay, and go, see here, instead of going, So that was half speed, full speed. These are called speed bursts, and you get to that full speed one, that's the one you're trying to get through, so the half speed one is just to kind of help you get locked back into place, where you're like, all right, I'm playing it properly, now let's get it and push myself to that faster area. Does that make sense? So whatever you're doing, and it, the hard part is if it's a really complicated rhythmic lick, it's hard to put it on the metronome, which is why everyone should learn to read music, so they can write down that lick and go, okay, it's, this is what it should sound like on a beat. So, because then you can sit there and slow it down until it's perfect and do all sorts of different fun exercises with it. But the idea is you play it half speed, full, full speed, half speed, full speed, half speed, full speed. Does that make sense? Okay. Then, John Petrucci, a favorite of mine, uh, he um, uses something called the kamikaze technique, which I call where you play it way beyond your ability and then you come back to where you were kind of messing up on. So play that again. Okay, so I'll take it, that's at 100 beats, well technically 200. So we'll do it at 120 or 240. So now, um, you know, I, and what I do is I would spend a little while there, not forever, and then I'd come back to the beat that I wasn't doing very well on, and it should feel easier. Does that make sense? So that's another way of forcing it. You kind of take your, put yourself into 
where you know you can't play and it sounds like crap, but you're really pushing yourself hard to get it done and then you slow it back down to that tempo that, that, you, were, that you should feel better on. Okay, and it's kind of like, you, you know, swinging a baseball bat, you swing four of them, you know, and then you only get up to bat with one. It's that kind of mind trick you're doing. You're just doing it with your hand. Does that make sense? Okay, there's another one, um, Rusty Cooley, who's one of the, one of the fastest people out there. Um, he, he doesn't really use a metronome except for practicing subdividing the beat, which we talked about, quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets. What he'll do is he'll just take an idea, like, let's do that, and uh, he'll play it clean, pick it up, pick it up, faster, and he'll keep playing. See, now it's starting to sound sloppy, so we come back down a little bit. You build it up, and build it up, build it up. As soon as it starts, it starts not sounding clean anymore, he goes back and forth, and he'll just go up and, up and down with a kind of like a roller coaster effect. So he's constantly pushing himself, which is why he's probably one of the fastest people uh, you know, out there, because he's definitely not afraid to do that. Does that make sense? All right, now this last one, this is my technique. So what you do is you find a speed that you're okay at, okay? Let's see here. And you play it 10 times. You know, whatever you're working at, play it 10 times. After you play it 10 times, regardless of how well you did, go to the next beat, which on the metronome for this guy, that was 88, whatever, uh, now it's 92. So, I would spend 10 times right there and go to the next one, 10 times right there. Next one, I'm gonna do that in five sets. So you've played whatever idea you're working on, regardless of how well it is, 50 times within a, a, a series. And you're gonna do this daily. Every time you start back, you gotta write down where you were and like, all right, if you can get through that first series, you're not making a mistake, well good, just do it once, move to the next one. Okay, and then you start at that next metronome pulse. If you can do that, great. As soon as you start making a mistake, you start right there, you do it 10 times in five sets. So once again, that'll be another 50 times pushing yourself. Okay, and I'm all about playing clean. It should definitely, you don't want everything to sound really sloppy, but if you don't try to get into that, the, the, faster, the faster area stuff, it's just not gonna happen. You'll just get really accurate at one speed. Gotta push yourself. Just like if you were to lift weights, you know, if, if, if you're feeling that burn and you stop, well, well you, nothing's gonna happen. You have to keep going, you know, and, and, and to, to add that muscle. So not that I'm super fueled or anything. So maybe next year. All right. <laughs>